Former Prime Minister Imran Khan's remarks were heard for the first time on Thursday in an open court since his wrongful arrest in August following sentencing by a kangaroo court. Once again, the NAB amendments case was not streamed live to prevent Mr. Khan's image or words from being broadcast. Khan, wearing a dark blue shirt, spoke in the Supreme Court via video link from Adiala Jail, saying that he was being held in solitary confinement where he had no access to any material, legal assistance, or even a library. He told the court that the jail authorities did not let him meet his legal team because of, quote, the one window operation inside the jail premises which a colonel was managing, end quote. Imran Khan called the February 8 election the biggest robbery of a public mandate. It was reported that the voice of the former Prime Minister was not very clear, even inside the illustrious courts room number one, but he could be seen on a large screen. Mr. Khan also requested that two of his petitions against human rights violations should be fixed for hearing in view of the flagrant violations of fundamental rights in the country. The Supreme Court of Pakistan has constituted a full bench to hear PTI and their ally Sunni Tehreek's appeals about the allocation of reserved seats. Thirteen judges will conduct the hearing on June 3rd, while Justice Masarat Halali will not be present. Pakistan Tariq Insaf's founder chairman Imran Khan was acquitted in two May 9th cases registered at Islamabad Shahzad Town Police Station. The court acquitted Imran Khan in both the cases due to insufficient evidence. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan is being investigated for yet another frivolous case related to a post from his account on the social media platform X, where a video cited details of the Hamoudur Rahman report on the 1971 fall of Dhaka. The aforementioned report has been published by the government of Pakistan and is a part of the country's history. It is worth mentioning that Mr. Khan has been incarcerated for over 300 days without access to the internet or a phone. Imran Khan responded to the notice for investigation stating that, quote, I will join the investigation in the presence of my lawyer and the above allegation is absolute nonsense, end quote. Former U.S. President Donald Trump was convicted on 34 felony counts related to falsifying business records in a hush money case involving adult film actress Tommy Daniels. This verdict, delivered by a New York jury, marks Trump as the first former U.S. president to be convicted of a crime. Despite the conviction, Trump remains eligible to run for president in the upcoming 2024 election.